Memphis for this edition of the warm up presented by Ottaville Bank. I'm Mark Kutz. Sandy Lynch will be with us momentarily, but we'll begin with the Delphus Jefferson head coach, Chris Summers. And coach, your second year as head coach and kind of started off on a pretty good note there. Went in the NWC last year. A lot of returnees from that NWC championship squad back for the season. Yeah, it was a, it was a good year. Um, and, uh, you know, we lost a great group of seniors. Uh, we made a um, and we, we made a lot of progress with them, and they they were they were such a great group to coach. But you know we uh, we're getting going again, and uh, do have a number of guys back, so we're excited, ready to go. What do you think the biggest difference is for you from year one to year two? It's experience, yeah. you know, just not as a coach, um, but with the players too. Um, year two of our offense and defense, and uh, and like you said, there's a number of guys back, so. Um, I thought when we started camp, we kind of took off pretty quick, you know, and that, that, was a, that was a good feeling. Still in Division Six this year, but mm -hmm. now in a new region. If you make the postseason again like you did last year, perhaps a different matchup. How much do you, as a coach, look ahead to potential postseason matchups? Obviously, you got to focus on week one yeah. and Shawnee, but is that in your back of your mind at all about what we need to do to get to week 11? Genuinely, it's not. Honestly, it's, it's really not. Um, uh, for me, it's looking week by week. It's, it's, the, it's the way, you know, it's really the only way I, I know how to do it and can do it. Um, and just look week by week, you know, and um, if we're fortunate enough to get there at that time, you, you, you play whoever you have to. So a matchup's not a concern. Defense was a strong suit last year, four shutouts. Defense going to be as good this year, do you think? Well, you, you bring a lot of guys back on the defense. You do lose uh, some really key players. And, you know, most notably, you know, Jordan McCann was a really good uh, a player on the D-line for us, uh, as was Warren Poling on that defensive line. So two real good players there and, um, you, you know, and, and a good linebacker and some guys in the secondary. But we, we do. We, we, we played a lot of guys last year. Um, and um, I think we return about seven of our starters right now at this point. You know, we're still, uh, we're still competing. We'll see who, who will have play or not. But um, uh, I think it has a, a good chance to be, be a real solid group. Jordan was the NWC co-offense or co-lineman of the year. And you, you mentioned Warren Poling. He was a, a first-team all-leaguer as well. But quite a few guys coming back. Offensively, what can we expect out of this Jeff Cat team? Uh, you know, the same. I think there's a number of guys return. Um, uh, a good, a good skill group, um, and, and just really just continuing to build on what we on what we had last year, getting more physical up front. Uh, I think we have a number of guys that can that can carry the ball and and throw it a little bit more too. Some, you know, that's that's we're trying to take a, a step in year two and maybe continue to evolve a little bit and, and um, progress our offense. So. Uh, we're, we're excited. We're excited about the guys we have out there. You're trying to progress the offense, progress this team on the field, but I know you're also trying to progress these young men off the field as well and really yeah. building in and investing into the community. Absolutely. Uh, you know, as a coach, that's your platform. You have a great platform uh, to be able to, to have a positive impact on these guys. And, uh, you know, just, just not from, uh, from, from, you know, doing their thing in the community, but from a faith-based as well. Uh, we like to bring those things into the team, and um, I think we have great team chemistry. I, I know I have a great group of coaches that coach with me and, and uh, bring that same message. Coaching staff this year, same as last? Same as last year. Brought on one more coach. Um, Brandon Bainfeld will be coaching uh, offensive tackles for us in tight ends. He's been great. Um, but same coaching staff, so I think that helps. You know, we, we have, uh, uh, we've gotten to know each other pretty well, and... and um, you know, things run pretty smooth. Opening up against Shawnee, yeah. uh, looks like that's going to be a, a nice matchup for the foreseeable future for week one between Jefferson and Shawnee. What do you need to get accomplished before that matchup? Better every day, yeah. you know, and that's what we do. We, we talk about today and today only. And um, you know, there's so many things that need to get accomplished before that. And uh, just getting better each day, uh, working hard, uh, getting ready for our, Two tough scrimmages with Bath and Marion local. They're, they they really, um, you know, you're in great games with those guys, and they help you get ready. Um, but just better each day and get ready for Week One. Shawnee Division Three, Week Two, the defending Division Five. 
three-time defending Division Five state champions in cold water. Having those two at the top front of your schedule, does that make the rest of the schedule easier? Is that a, a way to build up into the NWC schedule? Well, I think what it makes is you better get going off quick on the, on the right foot because they're two good teams. And I think what that means is you really have to come out right away and be playing good football. And, um, you know, that's what we're really stressing right now is take advantage of each day. And we need to get better as a team because uh, very early on, you have some really, really key matchups, really tough matchups. Defending champs in the NWC, does that put a target on your guys' back this year? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think that, you know, we're a hungry team. Our guys, um, we moved on from that in January. We're very proud of that. We're very proud of our senior class, but uh, not a target necessarily. We're hungry, you know, and our team's hungry, and um, the senior class is, is motivated. And I think it's motivated the rest of the team. So, no, you know, just, just one game, you know, getting ready to play them all and do the best we can. From the end of last season through the summer, what are the ways you've made this team hungry for new success? Well, I think I think the playoff uh, game uh, with Winford taught us a lot. Kind of, I felt like it really showed us on some things that we need to do. Um, you know, physically, we feel like we needed to become a bigger team. Physically, become a bigger team that really carried us into the off season. And we've had a number of guys that have done that. You know, they worked hard in the weight room. They put put weight on. I think it will be a bigger Jefferson team than that we've had in a while. And um, you know, that's something we really stressed. We felt like after that week is, um, you know, we need to become more physical on both sides of the ball. And and then just uh, both offensively, defensively, trying to continue to progress our schemes a little bit and, and maybe become more diversified on both sides of the football. All right, thank you very much, Chris All Summers, right, head you. coach of Delphus Jefferson. We have several Jefferson games scheduled for WOSN this coming season, including that opener against Shawnee, as well as Allen East Crestview and the season finale at Spencer. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Andy Lynch will have more on the warm-up presented by Out of the Ball. We welcome you back to America's Friendliest City. We're with three of the captains, all seniors for Delphus Jefferson. They have six captains this year. To my right is Dalton Hicks, middle linebacker and tight end. In the middle, Bryce Lindemann, the dodgeball champion from two years ago <laughs> here at Delphus Jefferson. And Noah Illig down at the end, he won the dodgeball championship this past spring at Delphus Jefferson. <laughs> Noah, are you still bragging about that big victory? Uh, no, not really. Oh, wow. You've let <laughs> it how, how long do you get to kind of play that up? To the end of the school year? Yeah. Okay. Well, how are things looking for Delphus Jefferson this year, Noah? Uh, we got a lot of potential. We've been working hard, sticking to the grind. Bryce, kind of talk about the family aspect. Coach Summers brings it in, Roger Arroyo, uh, your team chaplain. It se seems like a family here. Yeah, we're really close. We do a lot of things together, and yeah. <laughs> Speaking of together, your opening night here on camp, you all pitch tents out here, did a little <laughs> army workout. Bryce, how was that? It was pretty good, brought us together. Spent the night, just got close to each other. Did anyone sleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dalton, what was that experience like? I mean, it was really fun. It, was, it gave us the aspect of what the military does and stuff like that, but it was really fun. You got us working together as groups and teammates and stuff like that. Was it team building activities? Yeah, or was it was more, it, it was both. It was <laughs> more team bonding and stuff like that, doing stuff together. Like we had to carry each other. We had to carry 50 pound sandbags, things like that, so. How much more comfortable are you guys this year? Last year was the first year for Coach Summers. Obviously, he'd been around yeah, before, but yeah. taking the head rein and, and leading you guys to an NWC title. Yeah, I think we're more confident in what we're doing right now. I mean, it's just like we just got to re redo what we did last year, and um, we're just putting in a little more things to it, and we're going to be really good this year. It's only the second day of camp or whatever, yeah. but what, what, what is the strength of this team, would you say, right now? I mean, we're really close as a unit. It, like from freshmen all the way seniors, I think we're really close. We do a lot of things together. We have cookouts at my house. We're actually gonna have one tonight, but oh, what time? Uh, <laughs> <seven o 'clock. laughs> but we're just really close, and we play for each other. So Noah, tell us about the line. How's it coming together offensively? Uh, it's coming together. We we lost a few good people last year, some good friends, but people will, will fill the positions right. Next man up here at Delphus Jefferson, and when we return, we'll talk to three more men who step up on WOSN, brought to you by Oliver Bank.
Last time around with Delphus Jefferson here on the Ottawa Bank preview show. It's the warm up here from Delphus. A couple days into camp, and we're joined by Adam Rohde to my right, Hunter Binkley, the junior running back linebacker in the middle, and Jay Stockwell down at the end. Jace, let's start with you. How long does it take to get your hair ready for a football football game Friday night? You, you, you were asking, does it look okay? Are we good for the show here? Is it, is it a priority? Yeah, right now it's a priority. I'm trying to grow it out. I'm trying to get some flow to it. Are they going to call you, what was it, sunshine from, uh, <laughs> from yeah. yeah. is that what you're going for? Not th not quite that long. <laughs> All right. Well, t tell us about the offense and just how comfortable you guys have been. You've been through a season with Coach Summers as the head coach. How how's it coming? Uh, I think we're we're close to where we finished off last season. I think at this point last year we were a lot we're, we're a lot more we're a lot further ahead right now than we were last year at this point. Obviously, since we had a year, I'm more comfortable myself. I think everyone is. Hunter, it seemed like there were like 11 running backs the first week of the season. Everyone gets some touches. I mean, you had some great numbers by the end of the year. Uh, another good stable this year of running backs for Delphi Jefferson? Oh, yeah, plenty. Uh, Jefferson's usually four running backs and will always be. A lot of unselfishness that goes into that. Is that hard, kind of? Sometimes you want more carries than the other guys. Is that, is that tough to kind of have that humility? When you're looking at the big goal and winning and being a family, it's not too bad. Talk about that family aspect. You guys were out here, uh, what, Friday night, camping out in tents. Uh, did you have a little family aspect there? Andre? Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun staying up all night with friends, family, and just getting team bonding. Excellent. Adam, how have you uh, seen this defense progress? Your defensive end on this team, also quarterback. Uh, how's the defense looking early on? Um, we're just real excited. We're practicing real hard, learning all the blitzes, stuff like that before we start hitting with pads and just getting all the mental in. So that's what this first week is, a lot of mental and just yeah. going through? Yeah. How hungry do you guys get for those pads and getting out? Um, yeah, we're ready for that. I'm ready for that. Also on Friday night, you heard Todd Gungwehr, author of Lead for God's Sake. Uh, Urban Meyer is one of his, his guys he works with. Just what was that night like for the team? Um, he had a really good message for us. Just kind of something to get us motivated going into two days. Awesome. What are some of your favorite activities that you do on the football field? Uh, is there a favorite drill or, or are there none? <laughs> Jace? Uh, I like defense because we get hit on defense, but uh, I like the, obviously I'm a quarterback, so I like the passing part of offense. <laughs> and Coach said there's going to be more passing this year. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Put in a new package this year. It's going to be fun. Just one new package? I don't want to let too much go of what we put in. <laughs> You guys open up with Shawnee, uh, a, a nice matchup, playoff points on the line as well. Uh, Hunter, you guys looking forward to that? Is that up in the focus since April? Oh, yeah. First game is always the focus of the season, and then from there we move on, face cold water. Yep. And Fairview week three before they get yep. into the NWC gauntlet. Uh, let's see, Allen East, that's the open on a Saturday night, so a special one that you'll get a chance to see there on WOSN as well. We want to thank Delphus Jefferson for being a part of our warm-up, brought to you by the Autoville Bank, Coach Summers, and all the guys stopping by from Mark Coots and Joe Vernick. I'm Andy Lynch. We'll see you next time here on WOSN.